Hi, and welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy or just follow along, you have found the right place. Thank you for coming by, and please like, subscribe, and share. Now, this video is an update about the workshop. This is my special place where I create clothes, talk about life, and get into all sorts of mischief with fabric and patterns. Unfortunately, those of you who do not know my story, we have had a medical event at my house and I'll let you know what that's all about. So if you're not familiar with my story, I'm a retired school teacher, prematurely retired. Actually, I'm supposed to retire in May, but my parents retired to the West Indies, Jamaica in particular, and uh, my mother fell ill and then my father fell ill and I moved here almost five years ago. And we have had the most unbelievable amount of luck as far as my dad is concerned, as far as his care and his well-being. Well, it was time to pay the piper, I believe. About three weeks ago, he suffered a, um, a small stroke, but he had suffered one before and this one had a lot more ramifications. Now, if you watch this channel, you know that I had just had this unbelievable retreat Montego Bay with some of my subscribers. We had a wonderful time and I was scheduled to fly to America to spend some time with my daughter, pick up some uh, medical supplies and clothes and things like that because I was not gonna have coverage at home here in Jamaica for the rest of the year. So while I had my daughter staying, I was gonna run up to America. We were gonna have this whirlwind trip. We were going to go to Melanated Fabrics, <laughs> which closed, <laughs> but we wouldn't. I didn't get there anyway. I left on a Monday and that Monday night my dad fell and it was time to come home. We were trying to um, come to Georgia, go to Houston, come to Georgia, buy some fabric there and then return home with all my goodies and all my appointments and all my things that I was trying to put into play so that I would not have to travel away from Jamaica for the rest of the year. Unfortunately, I scheduled my last visit, closed the book and the phone rang. My father had fallen and we're in a whole new level of care at this moment. So my dream for him is for him to recover at home and for him to live out his life in his house, not afraid um, and not confused. Well, I don't know if I can work on the confused part, but at least I can make sure that he's warm, that he's loved and that he's cared for. So how does this affect the workshop? Well, the reason why it took me so long to get back to talking to you is I sew at a particular time of the day and we are still figuring out his care as far as what he needs because we're on a roller coaster ride. There's moments when he's lucid and walking and asking us questions about his medical care. And then there's moments when he needs sleep and then there's moments when he cannot move himself. So we, um, we are riding the ride. So, but today was the first day we kind of figured out how we're going to work our schedule. And it turns out that it's pretty much close to the schedule I had before. So I can't guarantee you that the makes will be coming as fast and furious as they were before, but I can assure you that I will be making things because it is part of my meditation and it's part of my joy. And so whenever I'm feeling anxious and concerned about how things are going to work out with my dad, sewing helps. So before I left, I cut out some really cute things and I pasted together a lot of PDFs and I got some great ideas while I was away. Um, so it's pretty much going to be not business as usual because I don't really do it as a business, but I'm, there may be less, there may be more. I'm not sure we are in undiscovered country. So I just wanted to let you know why no Friday sews, no makes, no postings and things like that. And I think the first couple of postings might be from something from a month ago. We'll see. But I just wanted to let you know what's going on in the workshop. 
what's going on with me. Thank you so much for your support all of these. It's been almost two years, you know. Alrighty, so we will see you soon. I will post as soon as possible and you take care.